E, how about that? Wow. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us on this new segment called George Explains It All. And uh, today we have George Sambrovalakis with us, and he is in Thessaloniki, but he's originally from Crete. And the reason I invited George is because we had a great show uh, on Saturday from Crete, and, uh, but there were some parts of it that I think may have been um, unrecognizable to even some people in Greece. And uh, because Crete's a long, a big island with a long history, and uh, it, uh, some of the dialects and some of the traditions that they have, they're a little bit different. So I thought this would be a great time to start this segment I've been thinking about called George Explains It All. So we have with us George Sambrovalakis in Thessaloniki, Greece. Hello, George. Hi. Hi. Thank you for Thank the, invitation. the invitation. So what are you going to explain to us today? Okay, I guess that uh, we, since we start this part, uh, George explains everything, you will not ask me about quantum mechanics next time. <laughs> no, I'm going to stay away right. from that. No, but you know, it, uh, whenever I've had questions about Greece, especially Crete, since that's where you're from and that's where you grew up. And uh, in fact, we were in your hometown on Saturday, weren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Heraklion. In Heraklion, oh. that's right. Let's talk about Mandinades. Madinades, yes. Yeah. That's uh, that's a good place to start. Yeah. But the people that they all, they showed us the recipe, they also, there were the musicians, Antonis Maliotakis and his band, his friends that uh, they were playing lauto with him. So that was a typical setting of Cretan music. One lira, two lauto. But uh, what we are calling in Crete Madinades, is, a, is an artistic way of creating a conversation. So usually Madinada, there are two ways. The one is that uh, comes from a word that it's from other means singing. And the other is that it, maybe it comes from the Venetian words Matinada, that it's a morning song. We're not sure about it. Okay, so let's suppose that it's something that it was there because for centuries there was a venetian occupation of the island so we kept a lot of things from them but what's the important is that madinadas exist for centuries even the erotocritos erotocritos is a well-known long poem from the romantic period of uh, uh, of greek literature so it was using this uh, 15 syllabus style of rhyming. And Madinades is creating a conversation by using small segments of ideas that you express them in a 15 syllabus uh, period. Does it make sense? Let's listen. Let's uh, listen to what um, uh, to some of this, and what I'll do. Aide, ma gero ti kaya, ma gero ti kaya smada, aman aman. Από τη μάνα Κρήτη, από τη μάνα Κρήτη Κάνουν τα Έλληνο, κάνουν τα Έλληνο πουλά Αμάν, αμάν Στην άκρη του πλανήτη, στην άκρη του πλανήτη Μπράβο! Μα τέσσερα μάνα, στην Ιάκα το 
happening with Madinades? It's a, it, it's a whole cult. It's supposed that every Cretan should write his own Madinada. Uh, I remember that uh, they were telling that the, the Japanese monks, they had to write their own koan, that is their person, personal poem, and that will uh, give their own philosophy about life. In the same way, every Cretan should express his own feelings with a Madinada. And uh, I wrote, uh, I, I was reading a book about Madinadas, and they said that uh, most Cretans are very masculine and, you know, warriors. But with Madinadas, they, they demonstrate that they have a very uh, romantic heart. So with a Madinada, you can express things that you cannot just give it as straightforward. You cannot say to a, to a girl that you are in love with her because probably she is on another village and maybe the father or the, uh, or the rest of the family, they, they don't want you to marry the sister or... Yoro, that's, that's fantastic. I mean, there there how many songs are there in greek or or like kritika songs with the words california in it you know it, it, yeah <laughs> and, but you know expressing their uh, their affection for uh, these kids that have uh, in california that have gone g gone to uh, yeah because they've they've really kind of stretched their imagination in and how they were able to approach uh, dancing after visiting um, visiting the village twice because they were they've been there twice, uh, one group and then another group with me in 2019, and we just loved it and and the filoxinha that we felt and just uh, how wonderful the people were there it was just exceptional, and uh, you know they they took us they took us into their homes literally. Not just on the, start off in the on their patios, but then it went right into their homes, and they were so kind and wonderful. If I, I can't. Say, if, 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 if you told them that we are going to the hotel, tell that to them. Yeah, they they actually set up rooms in their community center for us. They had rooms in the community center, and that that village and pronounce the village because I'm not going to say it right. Ethia. Ethia. So Ethia was. Um, uh, it, it's one of these villages that is just being restored by the people that either grew up there, or whose families are from there, and they have homes there, and they haven't let the homes decay. They have brought the homes back to life. They brought the village back to life. They have a beautiful um, uh, festival there every year, and uh, we were fortunate enough to go to it in 2019, and, and they are one of the most beautiful community centers I've ever seen, and it has rooms for guests, and they uh, they put us up for the night, and uh, because it's kind of a 
the road getting up there isn't exactly clear. I mean, you can't really, at night especially, you're not going to see through every every turn. So, you know, if you live there, if you've kind of come back and forth, you're fine. But for somebody who's visiting, it was really nice being able to stay up till like four or five in the morning and and uh, go uh, go back home after that. Um, but yeah, we loved it and we love the people there. And I wish I had the kind of talent to, to write uh, uh, a, help me with that word again, mad, Madinada, Madinada. Madinada uh, in return. But um, when you're here, maybe you'll help us write a Madinada in return. <laughs> That's wonderful. Gonna, That's wonderful. They're going to tell the Greeks from California that they find out that there is a dance that probably needs to be extinct and they start to dance and learn to dance. Well, the people that we videotaped were in their 80s that were teaching us these dances. Mm -hmm. So we send people there, they videotape people in their 80s and uh, the variations of these dances and oh, it was just beautiful to watch. So, yeah, so, so yeah, that's right. And, and those dances were award winning at the Greek Folk Dance Festival in uh, Anaheim, California. Um, right next there to Disneyland, you know, thousands of Greeks uh, gather every year and that's uh, uh, where we show off our dances and what we've learned. And it, it was a truly wonderful experience and we won awards. So uh, that was great too. George, I can't thank you enough because George explains it all. And uh, <laughs> he explains it all, but only most of the time. But hey, George, thank you so much. And with that, we're going to say, uh, thank you very much for being on the show today. And and helping us on George Explains It All. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you again on Saturday and uh, with another, uh, another Saturday show and with another restaurant and more musicians and uh, some fun in the afternoon here in the evening or in the morning here, the after, late afternoon in Greece. But, uh, uh, but we appreciate you being on here. And with that, Fresto Parapoli. Yes, yes.